This is for the men who want to practice ejaculation choice or semen retention. I'm going to give you five tips that will rock your world. I just want to start by saying I don't promote never ejaculating, but I do promote ejaculating when you want to. So the first thing to think of is pleasure. Why am I doing this? I want more pleasure. I want more pleasure for myself. This is not you. You want more pleasure for yourself and you want more pleasure for your partner. And you want it for an extended period of time. So know how long you would like to enjoy pleasure and make that a goal. I want more pleasure. And even decide in your mind how long would you like to enjoy this pleasure for. Is it going to be 30 seconds, 2 minutes, 10 minutes, that's maybe too short. 15 minutes, too short. Half an hour, mm -mm. an hour, we're getting there. 2 hours, 3 hours, even up to 5 hours. <laughs> this is possible. So have this pleasure goal in your mind. I want more pleasure. Therefore, I am doing ejaculation choice and I'm learning to manage my body and my energy. Which brings me to the second point is understand your energy as a man. So when you have a penis and your focus or your design is to give and to ejaculate, your energy is really flowing through your body and forward and out. So become aware of your energy flow. You've got a giving energy flow while you're making love or while you're masturbating. There's a energy flow. Now, once you become aware of this energy flow that is a giving energy, become aware that you can reverse this energy by feeling that it moves up and back into your body. You can practice by stroking your body in this way and noticing that with awareness, you can reverse the flow of your energy. Very important note. Be in charge of your energy flow. Now the next thing is, you want to develop a few physical techniques. Now, in that moment when you feel you want to ejaculate, you are going to do your kegels, you're going to um, squeeze the muscles in your perineum, like strengthen them, squeeze them, like you want to stop the flow of the fluid coming out and you're going to breathe in and feel like you're sucking the semen up your spine. Again, again, we're working with the energy flow. So there's a bit of technique. Um, and you can first practice by staying very far away from that ejaculation point. You can start at 50%, then 60 then get a little closer, like just grab it back but you have to physically grab it with your perineum muscles, your PC muscles, like, and breathe in and feel that you're sucking it all the way to the top of your head. And then you can wait a few seconds, and then you continue with your lovemaking. Okay, valuable technique. Now, with this technique, the next thing that you need to do is inform your partner. So your partner is going to work with you. Whereas in the past, your lovemaking might have followed a certain kind of rhythm working to a climax. If your partner is informed that you're not following that rhythm, but that you would like to have these waves of intensity and that you do not immediately want to ejaculate, communicate this with your partner. And in that moment before you ejaculate, before you reverse your energy and squeeze your muscles and suck up, breathe up, you can say to your partner, wait, pause. Eventually, when you know each other well enough in this kind of lovemaking technique, you can simply do the and that will be enough of a cue for your partner to know that, whoo, just hold still for a moment. Few seconds, 10 seconds, max 30 seconds, and then we can go again. And you might do this like 
five times, ten times during your lovemaking session. Oh, whereas in the past you might have reached it within two minutes, you can reverse that. And you get to that edge again and reverse that. And that edge again and reverse that again. And that brings us to the next point, which is absolute gratification. Even more pleasure. Gratification. <laughs> Know that when you do finally ejaculate, when you choose to, now you've hold, held back and held back and held back and held back and built more and more and more and more and more excitement. That moment when you do release is going to be epic. So that's another good reason to delay that gratification because the gratification is going to be so much bigger and when you practice this a lot you might even start finding that you can have orgasms without ejaculating during this say for instance you're making love for an hour or two hours and you're holding back your ejaculation quite a few times in this session with the help of your partner and all your techniques and everything then you might start noticing that your body starts enjoying so much like, oh, pleasure, that you basically start moving orgasm through your body without even ejaculating. That's next level pro, is when you can orgasm without ejaculating, without actually needing the fluid. You know, it doesn't, ejaculation choice doesn't rob you of orgasm so that is also really good to remember just as a closing as a closing statement that ejaculation choice um, semen retention does not rob you of pleasure and orgasm but it does give you more pleasure and it, it allows you to actually become a multi-orgasmic person because that ejaculation might often be the full stop, the end of the lovemaking. Whereas if that full stop is delayed, the possibility starts opening up of having a whole lot of pleasure experiences before the ejaculation. And these expe pleasure experiences, when you become used to them in your body, when you become a master, of knowing when the fluid is going to come out. Then you start realizing, oh my word, I as a man can also be a multi-orgasmic being. And during a lovemaking session, you might be able to orgasm 10 times, 22 times without ejaculation. And that is a good enough motivation to want to do this. And then as a very last footnote, I need to add that when we expose our bodies to longer states of bliss, then it does become a whole spiritual joy experience within yourself. I see orgasm as our merging with the divine within ourselves. And that's why we want to experience more and more and more and more and more and more and more of this pleasure, divine experience, orgasmic knowing of the divine within ourselves. We want to experience this as often and as much as we can. It's like when you make love, you're in the temple of God and your body is the temple. And here you experience the bliss, the heavenly bliss. Ah, the light of being so vibrantly alive. And sex becomes your church. Yahoo!